happy Monday, you guys. First, obviously, I took my braids down and I'm here with my CV braids, so it's okay. That means something is about to happen for me, okay? Um, second, I got some deliveries and I was able to open one of my Christmas gifts early for my son because it got delivered. And I was like, oh, that must be my Christmas gift. <laughs> and he let me open it, which I'm happy because, baby, I'm excited about this. I'm going to share it with you guys. Uh, but I also need to share with you guys the other things that got delivered today. So... I'm still waiting on other stuff to be delivered, but let me share with you guys really quick what came in just a few minutes ago. One second. First, I got this beautiful um, poster for our for the Starbucks 50th anniversary. It's obviously cricket. I just put it up there for now because I wanted to take it out of the roll packaging that it came in. But I'm going to get a nice little frame and frame it right here and put it up not cricket. But isn't that gorgeous? The uh, the artist's name is Damien Brown. So, second, these were my birthday gift. I mean, not birthday, my Christmas gift for my son. These shoes right here, chef's kiss. Crocs could never. All right, third. My chairs came. So this is one box and this is the other box. Yeah, I see I haven't put the pictures up there, but whatever. So I am working right now. But at lunchtime, I am going to crack into these boxes and see what's going on. See how much time it's going to take me to get these chairs built. And hopefully I can have them built today before I leave the house for my hair appointment, which is why you see me with the Seedleys. But yeah, so those are the updates. Um, I still am waiting on the rest of my Ikea stuff to be delivered. And guess what, guys? I decided that I'm not going to spend the $8.50 on the TaskRabbit to put it together. I'm going to try to do it myself with the help of some other people. But uh, I want to see if I can save the $8.50. I've put, you know, stuff together from Ikea before. I was already going to put my Billy bookcases together. Um, but firstly the ikea delivery got delayed the other part of the delivery so he was supposed to come after that but since the delivery got delayed to be determined when it's actually going to be uh shipped i decided to uh just wait and see if i can do it myself so i'm going to try to put one of them together and if that doesn't work out i will go ahead and hire someone to help me but anyway these are the updates for now hopefully i'll be back later depends on how work goes today um yeah so i will talk to y'all later say bye to my new shoes <laughs> bye guys one thing wayfair gonna do is hit you with the good packaging so it looks like everything is basically individually packaged it looks like the chair is already here i just have to put the the legs on so i'm not gonna bore you with that but i will be back when it's all done hey y'all so me and my color purple braids are back <laughs> but i wanted to give y'all an update so i'm whispering because i got people in my house because my um First half of my Ikea order got delivered and the delivery folks were like, you need this put up? And I was like, yeah, I need this put up. <laughs> and so we negotiated a price and they ended up doing it right now. Even my belly bookcases, girl. And it's like, way, it's way less than what I was quoted on. Um... Um, what's that? Task Rabbit, but I I budgeted for that already. So depending on what the work looks like, I'm just gonna go ahead and give them the other uh, the remaining part of that. Um, so and the rest of my stuff is not supposed to come until next week. So I still am gonna need you know help with that part too. So 
Yes, girl. I'm going to be able to show y'all some work in the closet today. I had to do some manual labor, though. I had to go ahead and take the all of the stuff out of the closet. And you know I was not prepared to do that today. So, I just worked up a sweat on my lunch hour and I'm starving still. So, anyway, I'll come back later um, with an update on where we are. But they, like, knocking it out. Like, knocking it out. So, I'm hoping that there is, like, some super duper, you know, shit going on that I can report back on when, um, when they finish. So, hopefully they finish on time, though, because I'm supposed to go get my hair done today at 6 which I'm probably not going to be able to do that today. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in and let y'all know the latest developments, girl. I'm just like, the Lord works in mysterious ways. My son is here too, so I'm not afraid. Uh, and my son goes to work at 7.30, so if they not finish by 7.30, I'm just going to be like, okay, y'all got to go. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. yesterday and <clears throat> I have due voice so forgive me I worked um, all day yesterday I had the folks in here with the closet I had other deliveries that had been mean oh my god I'm so tired <laughs> I had the chairs delivered so I built the chairs I still have one left then I went to get my hair done but I was late because of all the things that were going on here so I didn't get finished with my hair until like 1 a.m. And I got back home because I live like an hour from, or in traffic is an hour. But without traffic, it's like 30 minutes. But I live far from where my family lives. So um, my cousin did my hair. I paid her uh, because you have to pay people. Um, but I'm just random today, you guys. So apologies. Really just wanted to come in and say, that my closet, she is happy. I'm like, absolutely, you know, things are supposed to happen the way that they're supposed to happen. Like, I'm gonna show you guys, of course, the closet. But I wanted to come in really quick before I did that to give you guys um, an update. So I got the chairs. The chairs are mostly put together. I have one more to put together. I will put the chairs together. I'm getting ready to go to Target because I need to get the dog some dog food. But I also want to get like some something decor wise to put on the the um, table. Then I um, I don't know what else. <laughs> I have about two hours before I have to get online for work. So. My main goal for going to Target is to get the dog some dog food, but oh my God. Um, I might as well try to see what I can find while I'm there. Oh, I need towels, like bath towels and face cloths and et cetera, et cetera too. So I'm gonna get some of that stuff too. I need, yeah, I need, I need some stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to come here really quick and check in with y'all when i come back from target i will probably go in the closet just to give y'all a look you know what no i'm gonna go in the closet right now hold that thought all right so we're gonna call this a mini reveal of the closet <laughs> so yeah i remember what my closet looks like uh first i want to just say no i'm just playing <laughs> here's what the closet looks like okay so I got, like I told you guys in, in the other video, I got the bully, the bully, the Billy book cases for my shoes. Now I started, I put, these are all my shoes. This is my entire sneaker collection. 
um, it is just kind of in here. So I still need to adjust the shelves. Like, I think I'm going to make sure that the shelves is the height of my highest shoe, my tallest shoe, which is the Jordan 1 High Retro. And I want it to be like symmetrical. I want, you know, each shelf to be the exact same height because my thoughts are I will put three pairs of shoes on each shelf, color coordinated any, of course, um, and then fill all of these shelves with the shoes and then the top. And then I'll have like my non-sneaker shoes on like the bottom three rows or four rows. Um, these are my non-sneaker shoes. So over here. Um, and I decided that I'm going to have this pulled out and I'm probably going to put either for the time being, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to have that little shelf pulled out so I can put a mirror right there. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy. Oh, let me finish showing, <laughs> let me finish showing y'all the closet. Okay. So then I got the PAX system. So basically I have three of the largest I mean, three. I have four of the largest frames. I think they're 39 inches wide. And my walls to that point are eight feet, but to that point are 10 feet. So I'm assuming that these things are like eight feet tall. So this one, I have two um, rails. So my idea is put my pants bottoms or whatever there and put like blouses and tops there i have this one which we're gonna have four drawers that have not been delivered yet here and like an accessory drawer on top and uh for this one i got this hanging thing and I, my idea is to put cardigans hoodies stuff like that right here and this one i have Four, I mean, six drawers is going to be put in this one. Six drawers and two shelves are going to be put in this one. Um, and that one over there is for my long hanging stuff. And I have two shelves going in that one. Um, my thoughts were I would put the two shelves to put my uh, non-sneaker shoes. So I could probably still put them over there too. Um, and then I just feel like it's saving a lot of space and I still have clothes that I need to get and put up, but I downsized my wardrobe a ton, um, gave my niece like three or four bags of clothes on Thanksgiving. So I can see everything that I have. I'm of course going to come in here and go through and organize this way better than this, but I just wanted to make sure I got my stuff in here. Um, and of course, I still have like that duffel bag. It's a, what's that brand? Base Travel uh, Clear Duffel Bag. It's all swimsuits. <laughs> That's crazy. And then I have my luggages back here. So I did not have them refinish the walls. Um, you can't see the walls, so I don't think it matters, but here's just a little peek. They did not, you know, patch up the sheetrock or whatever. And I really don't mind because you can't see it. But yeah, I'm excited about the closet and getting myself organized and all of that. So um, I will be recording a video once I finish or I will be recording the process so that it can be a part of the video and we'll do a reveal. So I'm going to go to Target as I mentioned before. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to work and then I'm going to get busy with the rest of the stuff in the house. So thank you guys always for watching. Ciao. All right. So good news. We do not have mold. Um, I think when they put the previous vanity in, they accidentally turned the water on and it got wet and they didn't clean it up well. And they were just probably like, oh, let's see if she don't see it. But I saw it. Okay, so I have a brand new vanity. Now I'm just waiting for them to come back and put 
the countertop and the sink back on and then the plumber will come back and hook up the, the plumbing. So I'm happy about that. And also the other thing that needed to be updated was in the kitchen. The, remember this cabinet did not have the shelves in it. And now we have our shelves. So I'll move all of my glassware from here to here so that I can use this for um, like other stuff. So yeah, um, lots of updates going on in the next couple of days. I have one more chair to put together. Uh, let me see, sorry, I gotta wipe this. <laughs> I don't know what, what's happening here, but whatever. Um, so I got one more chair to put together, but it's giving what I wanted it to give. I'm still searching for two chairs for the ends of the table and then a rug. Um, and then my closet. I think I took y'all in my closet this morning, so I'm not going to go in there right now because I'm actually in the middle of working. Um, but yeah, those are the updates. We're getting there. We're getting there and I'm excited, so... I will see y'all later. Okay, y'all gonna get tired of me. Um, I need to sweep this for my cleaning folks are coming tomorrow. No, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know. Anyway, um, I wanted to come back now since it's been tidied up a little bit and I finished putting my chairs together and show you guys what it's looking like. So, oh my God, the vibes. It's giving what I needed to give. Now this orange chair here has got to go. I think I'm just gonna get the exact same chair in black and I'm gonna, I'll get three or four. I think I can probably fit four here if I made them go. Yeah, I could fit four there. So I'm gonna go on and switch those out. But the dining table is giving me what I need. It is giving. Yes, these chairs are like the perfect addition to this table. I just need to get a rug and um, two more chairs. I'm gonna get some pretty cute chairs for the end, some armchairs for the end. Yes, honey, and then I think I'm gonna pull my table over a little. No, actually I'm gonna push, when I move the tree, I'm gonna push the section down some to be, so that the table can be more aligned with the window. And then I found this really cute sofa table that I wanna get so that people won't be walking up against my couch and it gets dirty. Uh, but yes, I am definitely happy, thrilled, excited about what I'm seeing here. It's giving it's giving what I needed to give. Oh, I'm so happy. It's all coming together, you guys. It's all coming together. Hey, you guys. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm almost so wasted, but today was a super eventful day. I got, um, I went out and I did some shopping and I got some stuff. So I wanna show you guys the updates and maybe do like a little Sephora haul or whatever. So hold on for one second. I'll be right back. All right. So one of the things that I purchased today was this rug. So now I have a rug in my office. Um, I originally bought this. I'm going to turn the light on. Sorry. I originally bought this rug for underneath the table. But the rug that I'm going to buy for in the living room area is like geometric with lines. So this pattern, I think, would have been too much of a difference from the rug that will go in the living room. So I don't want it to be matchy-matchy or anything like that, but I do want there to be some consistency with the pattern. So under the table, I'm gonna get a rug that's similar to the one that's going in the living room. So I decided to just put this one in here. I need one in here anyway. It's cute. It has like black taupe 
and like cream colors on it. So I, I like it and it goes with the decor and the furniture and stuff or whatever. So that makes me happy. Now I don't have to worry about my, even though my chair has not been actually messing the floor up, it does give this noise when I roll around it that drives me crazy. I'm gonna replace the chair too. So the only thing that I need <clears throat> for my office is a new chair. And in that corner, I wanna get like a corner bookshelf type situation um another thing that i purchased today was this plant i'm like now getting back to my plant mom vibes um and this one was really cute because it's like pink if you can see that and it is a i don't know what this is y'all tell me what this is <laughs> Sorry for me giggling. I told y'all I'm a monster wasted. Okay, so oh. the next thing that I did was I don't have a coffee table yet, but I figured I would use my ottoman as a coffee table. So I went and bought this little tray thing. Um, I'm going to get some more stuff. Like I'm going to get like a a vase because I love fresh flowers. I usually have them over there on the um, bar. But I want to get some more stuff to put on here to make this heavy so that it doesn't move so easily. Um, yeah, so that's what I got here for now since I don't have a coffee table yet. And I don't want to buy a coffee table until my rug comes in. <clears throat> the next thing that I bought was this other plant. Um, and I got this one from Home Depot. Well, I got both of them from Home Depot, but um, this is one that I have always wanted. I don't know what it's called, but I'll find the name and put the link in the description box. These need to go in Michael's room because I don't need that anymore. Um, and we'll do a quick Sephora haul. So I went to Sephora today. And I picked up some skincare items for a birthday gift to my... I'm not birthday gift. I'm already talking about my birthday. It's not until February. <laughs> Y'all gonna get tired of hearing about my birthday. Um, but this is what I decided to buy myself for Christmas. So basically, skincare products. I'm obsessed with skincare and foundation. Anything complexion related, you can find me there. So <clears throat> these are the things that I have purchased and I will link everything in the description box. I'm getting better with that. So please go to the description box for the links for these items. So first thing that I bought was this Whey Body Wash. Uh, it's called Body Cleanser. It smells really good. I was using the Necessaire, but I don't really like that one. Um, but I got this one and I want to try this. Um, this is a staple of mine. This is a buff rider. It's basically an exfoliant um, from Fenty Skin. These things, I got the, I always buy this one, the Peace Out Acne, the ones that you get a bump on your face. You just put the little circle on your face and then it decreases the pimple and it's gone. So I decided to try out the Peace Out Pores. So I'm excited to see what this does for me. I think it supposedly is going to reduce the size of your pores. You have pores, they're never gonna go away. So <clears throat> it's supposed to reduce the size of them. Um, also, I want to try some new skincare stuff. So this is basically Youth to the People. This is a, um, I guess, a kit of sorts. It comes with a full size of that nighttime moisturizer and then an oil and an eye cream i um i am obsessed with eye creams um so i'm happy and excited to try that and then i saw this gem basically 30 days worth in each of these so it has the um water drench where is the oh sorry <laughs> Sorry, guys. So it has a firmer, a soother, and a hydrating one. 
and each of them i believe come with 60 patches so one for each eye so that's 30 days per container um i have never purchased these before but you know i was giving myself the gifts so i thought i would try them so i'll let you know how they work for me and then i wanted a new mask and i've never used this one and it's an exfoliating one so basically you exfoliate your skin you rub it in with your fingers and then um you leave it on for a couple more minutes and then you wash it off so i'm gonna do a spa day for myself today since i am off today and i have been out and about all day finishing up last minute christmas stuff um and buying things for my house so i'm a mosa wasted so i'm sure once i get in that tub with that um this stuff is a essential staple here in my home um i don't care this is this is a staple so I will be taking a bath with that. And I think I'm gonna put some of the Whey Body Wash in there to give me a little bit more bubbles. But I'm definitely gonna use this in the shower before I get in the bathtub uh, with my shower gloves to see what's up. But yeah, that is basically it. Um, wanted to pop in and give y'all something other than a home update. So there's that. All right, well, I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye.